Hello everyone, it's Jennifer and I'm here to share with you a design team project I've been working on for Ephemera's Vintage Garden. Uh, she has a couple, she has her own shop online which I'll share with you. She also has an Etsy shop and um, she also has a club um, similar to Patreon that she does on her own website um, <clears throat> where you can get monthly freebies. Um, and that's where these originated from, but I did see that she does have a printed option in her shop. I don't remember if I saw a digital option of it, but in any case, um, this is called Endless Summer, and it is using beautiful hydrangeas and images. Um, it I love hydrangeas, and uh, so when this came out last summer, um, I knew that I wanted to create a project with it, and this is how long it's been in the works. And Debbie and I apologize for taking so long to get this done. Um, but in any case, I really love the way this turned out. And uh, this will be for sale in my Instagram shop if anybody's interested. And I will put that link below also for you. Um, this measures roughly uh, six inches wide by eight inches tall. And then I used uh, just some lace with these uh, Tim Holtz buckles just to hold the whole thing closed because um, I really wasn't sure what I wanted to do for a closure. And I had already done the ribbon on this little front part here. So I thought um, this kind of looked cool. Kind of reminds me of the old school books and how they used to carry them all buckled together. Um, so let me undo these and then I will show you. And there's no specific holes on these because the lace has holes in it, so you can just kind of do it wherever. So I will undo those. And then you can just kind of see um, this opens to the right. And then there's also um, a band here where the signature on the inside is held in. Um, I used this pretty green uh, seam binding that I just crinkled on my own and this is just holding this little front section closed. I used chipboard and covered it with paper here. This is one of the papers in the kit. So pretty. And that opens up and has a little pocket on the inside that is used um, or I'm sorry made out of uh, eyelet lace. And then there's another piece of the paper here that I used and also chipboard that I covered and the same idea there um, and then on the inside here there's another piece of chipboard in the back here that's covered uh, and I did um, a junk mail envelope that I just covered with some old book print and I made a custom tag for this and the tag I just decoupaged with all my scraps I had left and then this is a piece of textured um, paper that I had this I tore off from one of the pages as a focal point. And then the back is just covered with some blue lined paper that I've added more scraps and bits from the kit. And then I have this little um, strip of fabric here which matches the same fabric I've made the book with. When that comes out, you can see the page behind it. So I really love how that all looks. And then that just slides down back in there. And on the side pockets, I have um, one of the tags that I shrunk down to a different size. And then these are real vintage postcards that I bought in a lot. And I've just decoupaged some paper on it. This one's from 1952. And um, it was someone who ordered some cloth labels that were being um, customized. So I thought that was pretty cool. And I live in New York, and this person lived in New York City. So I thought that was neat. And then that goes back in there. And then there's another one over here. Um, I shrunk down the photos in the kit and just put that little wallet with it. And this one is from 1954, and this is in Dayton, Ohio. And this is for... A magazine subscription to McCall's magazine. Um, apparently she'd made an inquiry about her magazine. So 
And I just put a little strip of paper there and two little strips on the back that were scraps. And then those just tuck in there. So I like the way that turned out. Um, and then that just ties closed. And then when you open this up, let me slide it this way. Hopefully you can see all of that. Um, there's a couple sections here on the inside. So one, there's a journal and it's removable. And that's why you saw the elastic band on the outside. I put eyelets in here. Um, and it's got a elastic band in the middle, which I'll show you in a second. And then here I wanted to do something fun with some flips and flaps and pockets. So I hinged a paper bag onto here. I glued the sides of the paper bag and I used the same paper. I just cut it and then so it, it kind of seams up here, as you can see. And this is just a little um, coin envelope. There's nothing in it, but fun place to tuck little goodies. The top of the paper bag is open and there's two slots so you could put memorabilia or ephemera in there. The back, I used one of the other papers to cover it with. This is a CD holder that I collaged up and then added some of the labels from the kit in it. And then when you flip that down, um, this little card that I made inside of it comes out. Um, the back I just covered with a book page that was plain. And then uh, the front is just some cardstock and then an off cut of one of the papers that I put on there. And so that goes in upside down so that when you flip it back over, it's right side up. And then here uh, I used one of the belly bands in the kit and I created this little, um, I think these were called document holders. I saw Rox, uh, Rachel from Roxy's Creations do this. And I just put a little string there as the closure. And it just, I used one of the papers, rather than printing it double sided, I just folded it in half and cut it to the size I wanted. And then I just had a whole bunch of different off cuts that I wanted to use. So there's just some brown craft paper, music paper, there's some green ledger, some blue lined paper, and then um, a book from. Um, I think it was a dictionary or something. And then that's all just bound together by that little string here, which is not tight. It's just pulled through once. So you could remove these and use them to journal on or collage with or whatever you like. So those just go inside and that flap goes over it. I did collage that piece onto there so it was right side up because otherwise it was upside down. But I thought that turned out really neat. Love that idea, Rachel. A great way to use up scraps, too. So that just folds over that. I did put this cute little heart. Um, sorry, I forgot to move the book back down. Um, this cute little heart trim here. And this flips over. This is an envelope. Whoops. And um, I have another of the belly bands here. And then in the envelope, or in the belly band, I have a card here. And this is just a blank card that you could write in. But... The hydrangea image went so well with the colors in here, I had to put one of those in. And this is the envelope that goes to it. It's embossed, but I didn't want to put them both in the same slot. I mean, I guess I could. It doesn't matter. And um, so there's space in the envelope for you to tuck goodies. There's a little pocket on the front of it. I collaged that up with some music paper. And then in the pocket, there is a cute photo. And one of the tags in the kit. And then I just put a little scrap of seam binding up here. So those just tucked back inside of there. And then that folds closed. And that goes over it. And I probably should have put a closure here. But I didn't think about it until it was too late. But it stays pretty well on its own. And then this, once it's over, it keeps it closed anyways. So here's the purse journal in the kit. And I did use a piece of seam binding to keep this closed. Um, I do have a piece of cardstock in here over this because when this closes, it tends to um, get caught up on that edging. So that's why I have that in there. But we'll untie this and I'll show you the inside of this. So the papers in this kit are beautiful. I love the colors of the hydrangeas and all the vintage, you know, price tags and all the 
scripty stuff and fun fonts in the background of it. This is one of her digitals also. It's a ledger paper that she sells in her shop. I've got a doily here. I have a page from Great Expectations with that same heart uh, trim on it. This is uh, one of my coffee dyed papers I did. And this is a page in the kit. There's room for writing here. And then here I use another page in the kit and I made a pocket here at an angle. And then inside the pocket is a large tag. And I've used a little whale tab punch there and the back is just blank so you've got a photo or journaling. This paper is also hers from another of her kits. I believe it's called Wings for Jonathan or Jonathan's Wings. Um, I will link that. I believe that's only sold in her main shop. And then here I use one of the butterflies in the kit and I used it as a uh, tuck. And in it I've got uh, the postcards and the little tags shrunk down to half their size. So it's just tuck in there. And that's all glued onto a mathematics page that I pulled out of a book. Here's another off cut from another page and I've got another of the mini postcards and one of the little ads that I just cut off. They were just scraps I had and I just thought it would be fun to embellish with them. I have a music paper here. This is some old tracing paper. Uh, another page from the kit. These are other pages that she offers in her shop that are digitals. There's the other half of that tracing paper. The other half the music paper. Here's that other mathematics page with another butterfly, a mini postcard, and a tag here. And on the back, more scraps that I had. And this is one of the transparencies in the kit. I'm sorry, <laughs> slide frames, not a trans. I've read transparency. And a mini postcard. And then here is the other half of that pocket page. And in here, I have another one of the pages that I liked the image on there with the tab punch and then I just put that plain cardstock on the back. So those are really sturdy. And back side of that. Uh, here's the other half of the uh, coffee dyed paper, the other half of the book page from Great Expectations, the doily, her printable ledger and the back side of the first page. So this I just had tied to keep it from, I did find that tying it here did help as far as when you closed it up for not hitting here. Let me just move this over so that when I open this out, hopefully we can see everything. I'm gonna zoom out just a tad, okay. Um, so, uh, on the inside cover of here, I also created, I used a folder I had that was two-toned purple, and, um, since there was a dark purple here and a light purple here, I thought it went great. Um, I created two pockets on that, and then I glued it on three sides, so there was a pocket here. So, behind there is this fun card that I collaged. Um, I've used some of the papers in the kit. I used some music paper. These labels are from the kit. Um, I put a piece of cardstock with one of the butterflies glued here, one of the little price tags. And then when I printed the postcards mini, they came out like this and I thought, you know, that looks really cool. So I used that as my focal background piece. And then the back is just a piece of blue cardstock. So you can add writing or photos or whatever you like there. And then in here, I've got in the first Oh, I'm sorry, it's three pockets. So the first pocket, I have this cute little girl photo from the kit. She's adorable. Her little bow's crooked and it's like, you know, hitting her on the forehead. I just backed that with some book page that I had that was plain. The next one is just a tag I created. I put a little piece of seam binding up there. Um, back that onto the lavender card stock. And then the last one is a large tag that I um, just, it, it was the background paper and then I just added a little bit of music paper here and down here. And um, I really like how that came out and I just backed that on some uh, ivory card stock. 
So that goes in there. Nothing ever goes back in the same way it came out, I swear. <laughs> okay. And then inside I've got two journals and these are also removable and they're on elastic bands. This is one of the pages in the kit and I used, there was a little like petal shaped envelope, but I used, cut part of it off and then made um, little attachments there so that it could be a pocket. So I like the way that looks. This is one of her background papers and there's the postcard and the photo of this girl. I thought those look cute there. Um, here I have some music paper, and I just collaged a little bit of the paper from the kit on that one and added that heart trim. Another page in the kit. It's just beautiful with all the labels and advertisements she's added. Another of her digitals for writing. There's a doily. I have a shorthand paper in here, and here I collaged another scrap. One of the labels in the kit on one of my coffee dyed papers. Here's the other half of that pocket and I used it as a tuck spot and then just tucked that postcard in there and glued some of the heart trim on and this is on a mathematics page that I pulled out of a book. Here's some more of that tracing paper. Her ledger paper. Here's the elastic so this whole thing comes out. And the signature, I didn't sew them in. They're held in strictly by the elastic. So you could take them out, rearrange the pages, do whatever you like with it. Um, the other half of that with the tracing paper. I love the tracing paper. It just kind of gives it that muted effect. Here is a pocket I created from a junk mail envelope that I had. Here's a label from her kit. I used some embossed paper I had. Another label in the kit. And then I created a tag using an off cut from one of the pages and just backed it with paper. And I love that you can see the numbers through there. More trim on that page. Another scrap of paper on the coffee dyed paper. Here is just an off cut piece that I had and I tore around the edges and mounted it on some purple cardstock. And then you've got this family of four girls. I assume they're all sisters. And they're from Middleburg, New York. And that is in there. And the other half of the doily. More of that beautiful writing paper of hers. Another beautiful page in the kit. It's a music paper with the heart trim. The other, This is also from hers. I think, it, like I said, it's Jonathan's Wings. Another beautiful page in the kit. The butterflies, everything just looks so cute. And then um, here's another pocket. And in here, this is an actual handwritten letter from 1942 um, with the postage stamps. And I just had some scraps I put on the envelope. And um, they wrote a note on the back. And the actual letter is in here. Um, I did read it. It seems to be a father writing to his son. Um, the handwriting is beautiful. Friday, November 13th. So it was a Friday the 13th, <laughs> which he talks about in his letter. Um, it sounds, from what I read, it sounded like he had moved and um, was not close to his, where his son was living at the time. And his son wanted him to move someplace else and he didn't want to go there. And it was coming into winter season. So he was trying to prepare himself for the cold winter ahead of him. Um, this is that same coin envelope and I just cut it uh, into this shape and glued it down as kind of a page flap. This is some music composition paper, another page from the kit, here's a coffee stain doily, a uh, shorthand page, glued a little strip there. This is a uh, dictionary page with a little pocket I created with music paper little tag from the kit and I added seam binding to the top. Another one of those um, slides from the kit. A little scrap of paper there and the trim on the edge. And the reason I use this page is because the word hydrangea is there and then it goes into the definition. I have a little stack here with a postcard in it. And another page in the kit. Here's the other half of the sack with another postcard. I love these fun images that she's used. The other half of that dictionary page with the pocket here, another tag, 
Another little scrap of paper on that shorthand page. The doily. Another page in the kit. The other half of that music composition paper. And then here's the last pocket. And I didn't stuff anything in this because I figure whoever gets this is going to want to put their own ephemera and stuff in it. So that one I left empty. And then when you get to the center of the book, I had a large envelope that I cut in half. And I collaged um, some of the papers and the kits on it. And as you can see here, and there, I will pull this out in a minute. Um, here's another part of the kit. And then I used those butterflies as a little tuck spot here and shrunk those into little mini tags there. Now this, I think you're going to find funny. Um, I had this greeting card that came in the mail. It was a freebie, but it went so perfectly with the colors, the greens, the blues, and the purples. And I, what I did to, you know, just kind of make it match is I used off cuts of the kit. So this whole piece here. Uh, this strip here, this little strip here, and then like where the birthday sentiment would be would be on the inside. I just covered it with some book page, and then I again used little scraps from the kit to tie it all in, and then I put that tab up on top. So that just tucks into there. And then this also, so I so the envelope was longer this way, so I'd cut it in half and use the flaps as my pieces to glue down so that these could flap out. Um, and then again, I, I kind of mirror imaged it and put another butterfly here with a little tiny tag. And then this is the other half of the card. The writing on the back I covered with the book page, and then I collaged this piece, this, and this on. And on this side, um, I used another piece of book page, which I probably should have double covered it because I can kind of see where it says wishing you a happy birthday. But I just collaged it up and you could put a photo over that. Nobody would ever know that was there. But I did like the way that looked. So that just goes in this half. And then this piece I um, created using a piece of cardstock and I just had scraps left over collaged it with um, pieces off the papers, little tags in the kids, some embossing, some book page, some other book pages, and it just flips up. And then I glued a solid sheet of the same paper I covered the book in there and here. So you could put a photo or something there, and you could put a photo here. And then I put a doily down with a butterfly there. And this paper is really just to cover the flaps of the envelopes where it's hinged on here. So that goes there. And um, so that is my project for Debbie Ann at Ephemera's Vintage Garden. And you can find her on Etsy uh, and her website, which I will link all of that in the description box below. As I said, this will be available on my Instagram where you can direct message me if you're interested in purchasing it. And um, I will... Uh, leave a link to my Instagram in the description box below also. Thanks so much for stopping by. I hope you enjoyed my project. I will be back more with uh, other projects, so stay tuned and come back soon. Thanks so much. Bye-bye.